वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू आर मैथ्स क्लास लेट्स बिगिन विद चैप्टर नाइन एच सी एफ एल सी एम प्रैक्टिस सेट ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ इन दिस लेसन चैप्टर नाइन एच सी एफ एल सी एम ऑन पेज नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स ऑफ योर टेक्सट बुक दे हैव गिवेन फर्स्ट योर लेट्स रिकॉल सो दिस इज अ रिविजन ऑफ वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द अर्लियर स्टैंडर्ड्स Now divisor and dividend. We all know how to carry out division. Okay, they have given here. They have uh, done the division here for us, but they have given some boxes. They have given the labelings of these numbers, and we have studied in the earlier standards that when we divide a number, okay, in uh, this particular example, if you see here, here thirty six is divided by four. Four four becomes the divisor. Thirty six. Is divided by four, so thirty six is the dividend. Okay, then when we carry out this division, the number which is at the top is the quotient, and whatever remains after carrying carrying out the division, the last here, the remaining thing is the remainder. Okay, so these boxes are filled here, and there's another example again, same thing. We have given boxes labeling some numbers. So here sixty five is divided by nine. So in this case, nine is the divisor, sixty-five is the dividend. When the number at the top, okay, nine sevens are sixty-three. We have taken because sixty-five is not present in the table of nine, so we have to take nine sevens are sixty-three. So seven is a quotient, and after doing this uh, subtraction, two is remaining. So two is a remainder. Now both the divisions are different because here in the first case the remainder is zero. And here in the second case, the remainder there is a number. Okay, it's not zero. So we can conclude that in the first case, thirty-six is completely divided by four. And why do I say that? Because the remainder is zero. So children always remember when the remainder is zero, when you get when you carry out the division and when you do the division, when the remainder is zero, then we can say that. the dividend is completely or uh, the number is completely divided by the divisor okay in this case we can say that 36 is completely divided by 4 but in the second case since the remainder is not zero we'll say that 65 is not completely divided by 9 okay now what happens here uh, in the first case when any given number is completely divided okay then we say that the divisor is the factor of the dividend okay so here we can say that 4 is the factor of 36 and 36 is the multiple of 4 now what are these words factor and multiples okay i'll show you with the help of a table Of two. Now here you will see I have written the table of two. Clear? That is two ones are two twos are. I have written up to twelve. Now in this case, this table of two, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty two twenty twenty two twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty eleven twenty twelve twenty thirteen twenty fourteen twenty fifteen twenty sixteen twenty seventeen twenty eighteen twenty nineteen twenty 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 they are the multiples of 2 they are the multiples of 2 and 2 is the factor of all these numbers so 2 is a factor of 2 2 is a factor of 4 2 is a factor of 8 okay so understand this difference another example of 3 now here i have written the table of 3 up to 3 tens up okay you can still write further now here you will see that these numbers which i have highlighted with yellow are the multiples of 3 and 3 is the factor of all these numbers okay so when a number gets completely divided by a given number then we say that the uh, dividend of that division is the multiple and the divisor is the factor okay and how you will know that you can carry out the division for example 
If we take 6 and we divide with 3. 3 twos are 6. Answer is 0 here. Oh, sorry, remainder is 0. Whenever the remainder is 0, then we can say that 6 is the multiple of 3 and 3 is the factor of 6. Okay, children? Now coming back to the textbook, here they have given us that uh, factors of 36 and factors of 48. Now again I said that what do you mean by factor? That the name or the number of the table in which these numbers are present. So 36 is present in which all tables we have to write. Okay, we have to find the factor of 48. Means 48 is present in which different tables we have to write. So same way as I showed you here. As all these numbers are present in the table of 2. Therefore 2 is the factor of all these numbers. So all these numbers are present in the table of 3. So 3 becomes the factor of all these numbers. Same way what are the factors of 36? That means 36 is present in which different tables? And first thing you remember that given any number, it is always present in the table of 1 and its own table. Any number, any big number or two digit, one digit number, two digit number or a five digit number, any number is present in the table of 1 and is, the, and is present in the table of its own self. So here if you see 36, the first two factors which are sure factors are 1 and the number itself 36. Even for 48, 1 and 48. And the other factors we have to find. Okay, other factors we have to find. So for that you should know the tables, you should know the test for divisibility, all these things you should know. Now 36 is present in which different tables? It is present in 1, it is present in 2. Because 2, when we uh, when 36 we divide by 2, it gets completely divided. Okay, as I showed you that it has to get completely divided. In this case here, 65 is not getting completely divided by 9. The remainder is 2. And therefore, 9 is not a factor of 65. So, if the division is not completed... Then we can or uh, by getting remainder as 0, then we cannot say that it is a factor. Same way, which numbers we will divide by 36 that we will get remainder 0? All these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. Okay. So, uh, 36 is present in the table of 2. 36 is present in the table of 3. 36 is present in the table of 4. 36 is present in the table of 6. And therefore, all these are the factors of 36. Same way 48. 48, as I told you, 1 and 48 will be sure there. What are the numbers in between them? Then 2 is a factor because if we divide 2 with 48, we get the remainder 0. If we divide 8 by 48, we get the remainder 0. If we divide 16 by 48, we get the remainder 0. Okay, so these are all the numbers, factors are actually the numbers that when we divide it with the given number, the remainder is 0. Okay, so factors are actually the numbers of the table, the numbers of the tables in which 36 is present and 48 is present. So all these tables, if you count, you will see that in all these tables, 36 number is coming. Clear? Now, after uh, writing the factors of the given number 36 and 48, we have to find what is what are the common factors of both the numbers. That is, what are the factors which numbers are present in the table of, uh, sorry, which uh, factors are present in 36 and 48 both. So, we saw 1 is common okay then uh, the next is 2 you will see that even 2 here is present I'll just erase this okay so we'll see that even 2 is a factor which is common for both 3 is a factor which is common for both 
फोर इज द फैक्टर विच इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ सिक्स इज द फैक्टर विच इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ एंड ट्वेल्व इज द फैक्टर विच इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ दैट वी हैव टू राइट डाउन ओके सो वील राइट वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स एंड ट्वेल्व क्लियर नाउ प्रैक्टिस सेट ट्वेंटी थ्री is uh, based on what we have just uh, seen here above write all the factors of the given numbers and list their common factors so 12 and 16 so we have to write what are the factors of 12 that means in which tables we will find 12 then we have to write the factors of 16 that means in which tables 16 is present and then we have to see the common from both okay now the first sum factors of 12 now in which tables we will find 12 as i told you that one is always a factor of any given number and the number itself that is 1 and 12 is sure there but which are the numbers in between 1 and 12 in whose table we'll find 12 so 2 6 are 12 so 2 is a factor of 12 Then three, three four is a twelve, so twelve is present in the table of three. Then we'll check for four. Yes, four three is a twelve, so four is also a factor of twelve because twelve is present in the table of four. And after four is six. Okay, I'll write like this since there is more place. So six two is a twelve. so all these numbers what i have written are the factors of 12 that means 12 is present in all these numbers all these tables okay now now we will see for 16 as i told you 1 is always a factor of any number and 16 that is the number itself now which are the numbers in between them 2 uh, is a factor of 16 clear So since sixteen is present in the table of two, two becomes a factor of sixteen. Then uh, after two, three, three is not a factor of sixteen because sixteen is not present in the table of uh, three. Then we'll check with four. Yes, four four is a sixteen. Okay. Then after five, uh, five is not a factor because we cannot completely divide sixteen with five. Okay. So if you are confused initially when you are doing the sums, you all can uh, actually. Uh, carry out the division and see if you get the remainder as zero then yes it is a factor so if you divide uh, for example i'll show you here we checked with 5 okay so 5 you can check with 16 so 5 uh, 3 is a 15 we can take remainder is 1 so 5 doesn't become a factor of 16 like that okay but uh, it is better if you all know the tables so it becomes easier for you all to solve after 4 is 8 because 8 to the 16 Clear children. So these are the only factors of sixteen. One, two, four, eight, and sixteen. Now we have to find the common. Common means which are there in both. So one is common. Then two, four. That's it. Okay. So when we are writing the common factors, we'll write one, two, and four. This is the way we are going to solve the sums. Now the second and the third sum. is for homework i'll be doing the fourth and the fifth now uh, again here 24 and 25 we have to write the factors and then we have to write the common factors the factors as i said one is always a factor of given any number clear then two is a factor of 24 that is if we divide 24 by 2 it will be completely divided okay then uh, three is a factor Four is also a factor. That is twenty-four. We can completely uh, get divided by four. Then six is a factor. Six fours are twenty-four. Eight is a factor. Eight threes are twenty-four. Twelve twos are twenty-four, and twenty-four. Okay. So these are the factors of twenty-four. That is twenty-four is present in all these tables. Then factors of twenty-five. One, five. And twenty five. So twenty five has only these three factors. That is twenty five is present in only these three tables. Now what are the common factors? One, 
okay further you will see there is no other factor so the common factor is just one clear then we go to 56 and 72 now what are the factors of 56 as i told you you have to write one okay two is a factor of 56 four is the factor of 56 that is 56 is present in the table of four also then seven is a factor eight is a factor 7, 8 is a 56, 8, 7 is a 56. And 14 is a factor. 14, 4 is a. Then 28 is a factor. And 56. The last number is always the number itself. After that, there is no table in which 56 will be present. Same way, 1. Okay. Then 2, 3, 4. You have learned uh, the test for divisibility for 2, 3, uh, 4, then 5. Okay, so there you can use the test for divisibility also to find out. That is what we have learned for the test for divisibility of 2. That in the units place there should be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And there is 2. So naturally 72 is present in the table of 2. Then for 3 what we have said we have to add. 7 plus 2 is 9. So, 9 is present in the table of 3, therefore 72 also. So, in this way, you should know the tables, you should know the test, so that you can solve these sums. Now, uh, yes, we have got up to 4. After 4 is 6, yes. Then 8. Okay, then 9. We know that in the table of, we know the test for divisibility also of 9. And we know the table of 9 also. So, 9 eight are and 8 nines are. Then 12. Okay, 6 are. Then 18. Okay, 24. 36. And after 36 is straight away 72. As I told you that the last number is always a number itself. Now we have to write a common among them. So 1, 2, then you can see here 4. Okay, then you can see 8 is common. Then uh, we will check. No, then the, nothing is there. Okay, so that is it. So the common factor, please write with a comma. 1, 2, 4 and 8. That's it. Clear? Students, after you watch this video, you will complete practice set 23 in your notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.